This is Tom Bell at the Portland Press Herald. From the outside, 415 Congress Street looks like an ordinary early 20th century downtown office building. But behind those wooden doors is the Masonic Temple of Portland, which has some of the most majestic interior spaces in the state of Maine. Masons built the temple in 1911 as a place to perform their ceremonies and plays and also as a social club. This is the Corinthian Room, where the most important ceremonies are held. On this dais, the worshipful Master of the East sits with his staff. There are beautiful glass windows and a large portrait of Augusta George Shuttlebeck, a prominent businessman who raised the funds to build the temple. On a stage above the room, a projector was used to project images on a large screen. Masons like to dress up in formal costume. Here's a commander's sword that was presented to the Portland commander about a century ago. More than 1,400 Masons have been knighted by this sword. The Scottish Rite Auditorium is used for performances and plays, however, because of code issues, this part of the building is off limits to the public. The Masons are opening up a new museum dedicated to Masons during the Civil War. During the war, Masons on both sides helped each other. This is the museum's director, James Dufresne. There are many stained glass windows in the building. This window in the armory is the most impressive. The temple trustees are opening up the building to raise awareness and money. The armory is where many of the events are held. This is the room where Yarmouth High School held its prom last spring. Everywhere you look, there are amazing details like the ceiling near the entryway. The Masons are proud of their building and want the public to use it and help them restore it and bring it back to life as a community asset.